cold one week, hot the next. It's been a Jekyll and Hyde start for Hamilton Wanderers this season after a 5-2 loss in week one and a convincing 3-0 win against Suburbs in week two. John Kirkhoff Park in Cambridge was the venue as the Wanderers looked to build on that 3-0 result. The early pressure was from the visitors and after Andrew Blake had tried his luck from distance, a piece of neat interplay on the edge of the Wanderers box brought the opening goal for Logan Rogerson after 28 minutes. A few minutes later, Hamilton were guilty of giving former all-white Cam Howison too much space in midfield. And he calmly picked out Maya Bevan with a ball over the defence. Bevan's first time volley was unfortunately turned into his own net by the retreating defence. On the stroke of half-time, the match was effectively over as a contest. Logan Rogerson eluded a couple of lunging tackles on his way toward the box. The third tackle didn't miss. And Auckland City had a penalty, much to the dismay of the Cambridge crowd. Up step Bevan to make it 3-0. Into the second half and the Wanderers began to test Connor Tracy in the city goal. First, Derek Tiku drew a sharp reaction from Tracy. Then Tommy Semi blazed wide from outside the box. Tracy then did well to hold a smart strike with Tiku bearing down looking to capitalise on any mistakes. On the hour mark, the howison bevan combination again paid dividends for the Auckland side. This time, Howison slipped a through ball onto the running Bevan and he made no mistake past the advancing Oliver. 4-0 and Auckland were in cruise mode. Bevan then had three guilt-edged chances to claim his hat-trick. His first effort hit the stanchion. He then volleyed wide with Oliver stranded. And finally he hit the side netting, trying to be Oliver on his near post. It was up to David Brown to complete the scoring with a fine individual effort. His weaving run left three defenders in his wake before calmly finishing past Oliver. And for the second time this season, Hamilton had conceded five. Bevan continued to cause the Wanderers' defence all sorts of problems and on any other day could have scored four or five. Hamilton's frustration was obvious and the game was marred with a late red card to Will Steffen for a swinging arm to the head of Bevan. The 18-year-old could have no complaints about receiving his marching orders. A dominant display by Auckland City, showing they have the quality and depth to push for another title. You know, we, we hoped for more today, uh, especially after last week's performance. We looked to do the same thing, um, bring that intensity, but unfortunately today it uh, kind of didn't go our way. Yeah, I think it's obviously a positive win uh, coming off the back of last week. Uh, you know, we ended the game really well uh, last week and yeah, we have started well today. We were very patient on a probably a different surface than we used to at Kiwitea. It was tough at times, but, uh, you know, we didn't worry about that. And, uh, you know, the boys put in a great performance and happy to get three points.